Hello, hello, hello everyone! Happy Halloween! Or almost Happy Halloween! I'm your Gibbs, and we're going to be playing Halloween Stories Invitation. Brand new game series for Elephant Games. If you liked Christmas stories, that's very thematic around kind of that December Christmas time frame. This is going to be a brand new series that we're going to be seeing in October from our friends at Elephant Games. Yay! So we're going to dive right into this. You can see our lovely folks in the top left corner. These are folks that are here live, enjoying the adventures, sharing the adventures together. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. I'm waving at you right now. Thank you, thank you. So what do I know about this game? Very little. <laughs> Very little, but I'm ready to play and find out more. Halloween Stories Invitations. Kind of a scary looking pumpkin there. Alright, let's play. Casual mode. Advanced mode. Hardcore mode. And a custom. So a lot of great ways you can customize your experience if you choose to do so. Do I do Halloween? Sure. Hey, wait! Hurry up, Jane. This is the coolest party in town. I don't want to miss it. Yes, you're old enough. Come in. I'll go find something to drink. Wow, they weren't kidding. This really is the party of the year. <laughs> Halloween party, folks. Are you going to be going to a Halloween party in 2017? Mm-hmm. Sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, see what we got here. Looks like we got to talk to people. I'm digging this lady here. Look at her. She's got some dance moves going on. I don't know what she's uh, dressed up as, but... Miss Jane Stone, I presume. We've been looking forward to meeting you and Joe. Wait, how do you know who I am? <laughs> you are to be our special guest for an unforgettable evening. Okay, what was that? Was he purring like a cat? <laughs> Do you see my face? I see we were not deceived. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! It was all an illusion, and now I'm trapped. Oh no, Dark Darth Maul laid a trap. Uh, would we like some interactive help? I think we'll go with uh, special features, please. Uh, those creatures are about to break into the room. Find somewhere to hide by following the hints. Coverts. It's not working. Oh no. Where else can we go? Curtains. I need to find somewhere else to hide. <laughs> oh no, fireplace. Oh, too much ash. Sofa. Where did she go? Show yourself. We have your friend. Oh no, it's the Nope Express. <laughs> they got Joe. I won't leave this place without him. We have a new task of getting out of this room. Now, uh, let's see what we got here. I do want to know what... Oh, I bet you that's a collectible right there. Yes, indeed. We have morphing objects. All right, folks, for those of you that are watching, don't forget that is part of your obligation. <laughs> Please shout out the uh, morphing objects. Those are clearly not going to be uh, spoilers by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I assume we crawled under? Maybe? Don't know. 
I feel like these candles are serious fire hazard. We have found something. Maybe I can pull up the door with something. Hey there, we got a map now, which is nice. I'm kind of digging her black nail polish and I don't know what you call these kind of gloves, but they're pretty cool. So this map is like a ancient architectural drawing from the looks of it. Look at all these lines and numbers in here. This is cool. I like this as showing that we're missing a puzzle piece, which is nice. Achievements, figurines, so it looks like we're going to be collecting... Wow, from what I can tell here, adorable. Clearly adorable figurines. Uh, I do want to look at the uh, uh, table of contents here. Let's just see what we're dealing with for collectibles. Figurines are marked in yellow, morphic objects in red, fragments in green. So we have three types of collectibles. Morphing objects, fragments, and figurines. Yeah. We are totally going to find all of those cute vampire figurines. Uh, sure. It's definitely stuck. I need some kind of tool to pull it out. Lace fingerless gloves? Is that what those things are? That is a very specific name for them. What's over here? Um... Not sure how I feel about this dolly here. <laughs> oh no. Uh, who wants to click on the dolly? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Knew it! A clown with a razor blade, of course. Of course it has a razor blade. What does this creepy clown need that I could trade for a blade? Chuckles the clown? Is that who that is? I could use almost any fine object to unscrew these. Rare collectible figurines may be hidden in some locations. Examine scenes to carefully find them. Oh, there's our first one. Yay! Let's have a peek here. Skeleton! <laughs> it's a dancing skeleton. Yes, thank you. Mm hmm. Let's have a look over here. Uh, it's the door we can't unlock. I think our coffins are gonna go here, maybe? No? A gear? No. So, what else can we do? Let's over this way. With some cloth and a stick, I could make a tourniquet. Okay. I always wondered if this was like legit. That you could bend metal with this approach. The pencil is kind of dull. <laughs> well, I knew it was going to be a jump scare. I just, uh, yeah. What is this over here? I'm not sure why it's letting me click it, but... I probably shouldn't go over there. A party popper. Hmm. So what am I going to do with the party popper? Maybe I can put it in here? No. Broken mirrors. What's with this, like, bone chandelier? This is crazy. What are my objectives here? Basically get out of the room. Okay. Uh, it's definitely stuck. I could use some kind of tool to pull it out. Hmm. I don't know where there's a box in here. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Eva Rose, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Good to have you here. Yeah. 1.20 p.m.? Good, good. It's 6.20 where I am. I'm actually not even sure what to do now. I need something to pull that out, but I don't have anything to do that. Interesting. 
Let me see what this says. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That would help if I actually looked at my entire inventory bar. <laughs> okay, puzzle right out of the gate. Uh, by the way, this game is made by Elephant Games and it's known for two things. One, amazing looking graphics. Two, tough puzzles. So keep that in the back of your mind. Move the tiles to form a path from one colored square to the other. Select and slide a tile to move it. Holy moly. Holy moly. These ones are clearly locked. This is going to be interesting. Kind of like a mosaic puzzle, but let's have a look here. Controls are not bad. I don't know if we have to use all of the bits, but uh, I guess if we have to, we will. Now, I need that piece to go up there. I want to go up there, please. Now, I need this one to basically go this way, I think. Okay, here we go. No, stay there. Thank you. Uh, huh. I mean, I could put another horizontal one here. And then we can put some verticals. And then move that one there. Actually, let's get this one out here. That there. Thank you. We're almost done, folks. Almost done. Excellent. We got it in. Let's see here. Ah, this Halloween is your last chance. Help me catch her and you'll get what you deserve. Who's this lady? I guess this woman is somehow involved with all these horrible things that have been happening. And we got ourselves a screwdriver. That's exactly what we needed. We got glitter. What is this thing doing over here? That pumpkin really creeps me out. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Uh, cute dolly though. Spider. Oh, ho, ho. icky, icky spider. All of the Halloween motifs are here in uh, full view. I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. The amulet that looks like a bat must be placed here. Ah, okay. So I need a bat. One down. Another bat. What do we need? What do we see here? Oh, that might go there. Let's have a look. Nope. Interesting way they did this puzzle. I like it. It's still a lisp, but it's perhaps not as straightforward. I feel like that goes there. I need a special amulet for that. Moon. Some lovely, creepy music here to help us stay focused. Oh, that goes there. <laughs> Hello there! What is this little creature all about? Greetings to you. Who doesn't have a green spherical object in their house? Everybody needs one. The skull's eyes could use more sparkle. It's actually a fragmented object that we're putting together here. And I'm digging the uh, cobwebs too. Uh, hmm. Little bat buddy, what do you got for me? I need a special amulet to open this. Crystal ball, exactly. Halloween is a perfect time. I had one of those crystal balls. 
where it had a speaker and then it had a microphone. You could talk into the microphone and then the crystal ball would talk. It was great. It's like we're gonna find some things buried in here. We have a Halloween ornament thingy. And a coat hanger, that's kind of random. What the heck do we need a coat hanger for? Uh, oh, maybe to deal with this, here we go. Really? Deal with this? <laughs> what the heck do we need a coat hanger for? 